Public school superintendents and librarians could face new legal trouble as part of a series of changes Republicans unveiled today. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Russ Bowen. Parents would have a new way to sue those superintendents and potentially get them removed. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh with more on how this could affect every school district in the state. Michael. And this is all part of a wide ranging bill that we just saw overnight and it builds on some controversial changes that Republicans have already tried to make. Cut the square. If it's people, you're... A new stage in the political battle in North Carolina schools. A bill Republicans in the House rolled out Wednesday would make it easier for parents to sue superintendents, to prosecute librarians for disseminating harmful material to children, and make a wide variety of other changes regarding parental rights in schools. We're just trying to make sure that parents get the, the, the rights they need and some of the access that they need to have. This is the type of legislation that people ought to be running up here and protesting. Parents could sue when their fundamental right to parent is violated. That's defined as the liberty of a parent to direct the upbringing, education, health care, and mental health of their child. If five of those cases are successful, a superintendent would either be fired or have their pay cut significantly. If for, for some reason a superintendent had just closed their eyes and let five of these things happen, then chances are he needs to be removed or she needs to be removed. If we're having to, de to defend lawsuits that come because of this bill, that's less money going directly into the classroom. Similar to a previous bill Democratic Governor Roy Cooper vetoed, it also requires schools to notify parents if kids start identifying as a different gender. There would also be a new procedure for selecting library books and instructional materials. It's honestly a distraction and a waste of time. They have every constitutional right to be wrong. I think some people just don't want parents to have the access that to, to uh, their children and are trying to remove some of that access. Republicans had planned to start moving this bill forward today in a committee, but decided against that late in the day. They do still plan to hold a hearing on it at some point, but have not determined when. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, a lot to keep up with there. Thanks for that.